Three days after Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia died suddenly in remote West Texas, a former D.C. homicide commander is raising questions about how the death was handled by local and federal authorities. In a Facebook update cited by the Washington Post, William Ritchie, former head of criminal investigations for the D.C. police stated that no autopsy being performed was highly irregular. As a former homicide commander, I am stunned that no autopsy was ordered for Justice Scalia. You have a Supreme Court justice who died, not in attendance of a physician. You have a non-homicide trained United States Marshal tell the Justice of Peace that no foul play was observed. You have a Justice of the Peace pronounce death while not being on the scene and without any medical training opining that the Justice died of a heart attack. What medical proof exists of a myocardial infarction? Why not a cerebral hemorrhage? Questioning if the U.S. Marshals on San Stephen had the medical training to tell the Justice of the Peace that there was no autopsy needed. How can the Marshal say, without a thorough post-mortem, that he was not injected with an illegal substance that would simulate a heart attack? Did the United States Marshal check for petechial hemorrhage in his eyes or under his lips that would have suggested suffocation? Did the United States Marshal smell his breath for any unusual odor that might suggest poisoning? My gut tells me there is something fishy going on in Texas. Richie is not the only credible source questioning Scalia's death, as former Army Intelligence Officer Ray Starman has also penned an article highlighting how he suspects foul play in the death of the controversial Supreme Court Justice, writing, The circumstances surrounding Supreme Court Judge Antonin Scalia's death are growing more suspicious by the minute. Another crazy fact surrounding Scalia's death is the owner of a popular luxury ranch where the Supreme Court Justice was found dead is Obama's friend, supporter and Democratic Party donor John Poindexter.